Welcome back to another video on Gearsaw Studios, and today I'm going to be showing off 24W33A, a new snapshot for 121.2, and it's actually really significant, fixing nearly as many bugs as major updates like 115 did. So without further ado, let's investigate what actually changed. Starting off, here is the change log. I can't go through all of this in just one scene, so Essentially, what I'm really going to say is a lot of bugs were fixed, and then some of the major highlights. Of course, bundles, baby dolphins, along with baby glow squids and other things. And then redstone torches got a rewrite, so now they look much prettier. And then the bundle is added. So yeah, there's a bunch of things, and there's even some redstone experiments you can turn on, and minecart improvements that you can also turn on. And you can finally have those things where the camera is followed by the minecart's direction. Note, that can get out of hand pretty quickly. So some things are breaking down because of that. So they're going to be, you know, mildly adjusted and such. And then bees are better at flying in general. So hopefully your hives don't randomly lose all their bees unless they're kept inside of a room. And then a bunch of other parody things. Bats can now spawn at any height, so that way you can actually see them in mountains. Banner patterns are moved into a different thing, to the banner templates. And then the rarity rewrite over here, a bunch of things are going on, and even an FPS limit for when you're inactive. So, a lot of things are changed here, and even goat horns are data driven. So you can do a bunch of things now with this little snapshot. It's basically adding as much as an update in some regards. First off, some trial chamber changes. Right here are something called encounters. Occasionally, you'll see these before the main chamber. And although this is all jigsaw format, strangely enough, I could not find a single one generating. Perhaps they don't generate yet. But anyways, you can see here that you have to go through a small maze. At the top, there's going to be a little vault here and potentially even a trial spawner. So that way it's a little harder. But still, this is pretty much the gist of these rooms. They're going to have breezes and such. You can see here, these jigsaws indicate traps. And then this one is for a breeze spawner. This one is a vault. That one's another dispenser. And then this one connects to the actual chamber. So you can see how these are going to generate. Right here, you have a nice vault. You have to traverse your way up through this. I don't even think possible parkour, unless you actually generate the jigsaw. And then you go all the way up, and now right here, you have a spawner. So potentially that could just be a bogged spawner and your day is ruined. And then down here in this one, you have to navigate this area without getting killed. Of course, there's some traps, arrows, dripstone down there, a vault down there. You have to navigate this place, and it's pretty treacherous. But hopefully, you don't just fall on the dripstone and die. And then for the fifth one, well... There isn't too much to talk about in this one. It's pretty much just another arena. It doesn't even feel like an encounter, it just feels like a whole new arena, which is a pretty odd choice, but alright. And now, that's the trial chamber changes. Of course, some ladders were changed. And now, some new sounds and looks. Right here, spawners actually have new noises. Yeah. They have their own things, and you can see subtitles block generic step to prove that it's real. Right here, the new redstone torch. Finally, its own identity, and now it can be pretty silly. And also, minecarts. There is now a game rule that allows you to change your speed if you turn on the experimental settings. So, I'm going to do max minecart speed. Well, minecart max speed, and I can change it to whatever. I can change it back to 1. Goodbye, minecart effectiveness. Or I can change it to 100. And thus, when I push it, well, it's gonna go a little crazy. And there's even a new experimental game setting for accessibility. So I'm gonna go here. We can make it follow. So here, right here. Well, yeah, I already said that. It rotates with you. And this is only available with minecart improvements. And although this seems like a purely positive change, who knows how much they're going to buff minecarts, so mild epilepsy warning, you might have a little bit of uh, silliness with this one. 
So, once I start accelerating, yeah. So you have to be a little bit careful about your minecarts. Since they'll be going so fast, it might cause motion sickness and other adverse health effects. Hence, why this is an accessibility setting that defaults to off. And now, the bundle. The bundle has gotten a bit of a rework and now requires a scroll wheel. If you're not playing Minecraft with the mouse, uh, you're getting the old bundle pretty much. So right here, you can see the top items, and if I scroll my mouse wheel, I can now navigate it, and they're even visible inside the bundle right here. I can take this one out, put it back in if I know how to navigate this correctly, and you only get to see the top seven items. Well, eight if there's exactly eight, but for now, just seven. And there's no way to access the lower ones without taking stuff out of the top, so you're going to have to manually you know, empty it so that way you can see the bottom. And how the bundle works is that it allows you to stack multiple items up to 64 even if they're different. So you can't put 64 swords in there because that counts as a stack on its own. But in here, these are all one stack of an item. However, if I grab a random item like oak trapdoors and then I try putting it in, it's uh, not going to work. It's going to give me full. It's not going to like me anymore. And then I can empty it, and you can see with this progress bar how full it is. So this is actually really useful. Although you can't access the lower ones, you aren't able to do that anyways. So you're much more likely to be able to get what you're looking for by sticking it into the bundle, which actually makes it an effective inventory solution for once. Right here, you can see some various redstone contraptions, and I'm not entirely sure what the redstone rework is doing to them. Despite me following what the website said, I'm getting weird results. It doesn't seem to be randomized. However, there's something cool. Now, salmon can have different sizes. And of course, I get the medium one in my showcase that was also definitely intentional. But anyways, the salmon here now have different sizes. So that's right, we have large salmon in Java Edition. Finally, Java Edition is indisputably better than Bedrock. Okay, I actually think the two versions are kind of close in equalness, but still, Large Salmon is in Java Edition, which is breaking news pretty much. So, if you're a fan of Large Salmon, have fun. Along with that, baby variants of certain mobs have been added. So, for squid and dolphins. Along with a few other ones, most likely, that I'm forgetting at the moment. So, if I summon a bunch of dolphins, you can see there's a baby one. I don't know if they grow up. But you still cannot breed dolphins, so it's not a very important change, but it's interesting to see nonetheless. Right here, baby squids. And you can even observe it in baby glow squids. So if they still drop items, well, this isn't going to change much. However, if you have a farm for any of these mobs, the different sizes may impact it. So take a look at them and make sure that they are not breaking down because there's a squid that's too small. While there are tons and tons of new things to be looked at in terms of bug fixes, otherwise there isn't too much to look at for the rest of this snapshot. Of course, I highly recommend trying it out because, well, this is a lot of changes, like there's getting killed by a mace gives a special status message, and the stars are now their normal size again. Yeah, they're actually smaller in 121. Well, the only thing I really have left to say is the fact that bundles are hilariously easy to craft now. Yep, you no longer need tons of rabbit hide and set up a farm that's going to lag out your whole world with only four bunnies. Yeah, somehow that was me. But anyways, yeah, you can now have bundles on your early game adventures, so now inventory problems are much less in the early game. So hopefully, with some other changes in future updates, the inventory problem can be solved once and for all. And with that, it's the end of today's video. If you enjoyed this video, remember, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. And share your thoughts on the new snapshot below. Anyways, enjoy the rest of your day. Gearsaw out.